Okay everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to unboil an egg. And then I'll be showing you how to cook an egg with no heat. Okay, so egg whites and egg yolks are made of proteins. And proteins are basically really big long molecules made of what's called amino acids. But they're not stretched out like this. What happens when they're in water is they fold up into structures that are kind of like big huge clumps. And so a raw egg white is liquid because all of these proteins can just slide past each other. Kind of like these clumps of aluminum foil here. But when you start to heat up the egg, the proteins start to vibrate a little bit more. And they vibrate so much that they can't stay hooked together in their clumps. So when the egg white heats up, these long molecules start to spread out again. And they kind of unravel. And this is called denaturing. So the proteins denature and they all kind of get tangled together and they can't slide past each other anymore. So they kind of all move as one big clump together. And so that's why when you cook an egg, it just becomes one big solid chunk because all of these proteins are tangled together. So my goal now is if I want to turn this back into a liquid egg, I have to somehow untangle all these proteins. So it turns out there's a pretty good chemical for doing that. And that chemical is called urea. You'll notice that urea and urine sound quite similar. That's because urea is the main component in urine. So urea is pretty good at making proteins unstick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dissolve urea in a bunch of water. So I'm going to have an eight molar solution of urea. And then I'm going to grind up my cooked egg and I'll put it in the urea and the urea should dissolve the egg white. By dissolving it, it means it's going to pull each of these proteins individually apart and they'll be separated. And then the cool part is, is that protein folding is actually reversible. So when, once you've denatured a protein and you've separated them all out into their individual strings and you have them in some water, they'll actually naturally go back to their original shape. So they'll fold back to their original protein structure. So in the end, once I've diluted the solution of urea enough, the proteins should fold back into their original form and they'll become just like raw egg whites again. So let's see if I can end up with a solution of raw egg whites at the end. Let's try it. Okay, I have here my cooked eggs. Okay, so I'm going to grind up the egg and then I'll put it in the urea solution. And I should mention, I also added a phosphorus buffer to the solution so that it stays at the correct neutral pH. Okay, so you can see the egg whites starting to dissolve in the liquid here. So these solid egg whites are now becoming liquid again. Okay, so my egg whites are pretty well dissolved in here now. So now I have a super concentrated solution of egg whites and urea. But the problem is that the proteins are still denatured. So they're still long chains and they're not coiled back into to their original shape. That's because the urea is keeping them apart. So now all I need to do is dilute the urea. Now here's my egg white solution. And this is just some buffered water here. And this should be diluted enough. Now the proteins have separated from each other and they spontaneously fold back together. So before I dilute it, they're just strings floating around. And then when I dilute it, the urea is not holding them apart anymore and there's enough water around it that they spontaneously fold back together into their little clumps again. So now what I have here is basically just a solution that I would get, same if I had some water and poured a little egg white in it. Okay, so now that I've showed you how to unboil an egg, now let me show you how to cook an egg without heating it. So I mentioned that when an egg boils or gets hot, the proteins unravel and come apart. Well, another way to do that is instead of heating it, you can just put it in a very basic solution. And the basic solution just means that there's a lot of ions in the water that will help pull that protein apart and string it out and denature it. So I have here some egg yolks. Let me show you what happens when I pour it in this solution here. So this is just a concentrated solution of potassium hydroxide. Now watch what happens when I pour the egg yolk in it. <laughs> so you can see that I've just formed some solid egg yolks in there. 
So here's my egg yolk that was cooked, not through heating, but through a chemical interaction from the base. So for comparison, here's what happens in just regular water when you pour egg yolk in it. So you can see how it just disperses around and doesn't clump together. But our egg yolk and the potassium hydroxide here stay together in one big clump. That's because it's been denatured and all of those long strings are now sticking together. So you know how they used to say it's healthy to eat a raw egg today? Well, I say it's healthy to eat an egg that you've boiled and turned back into a raw egg and diluted in water. Mmm. So what's interesting about this is you usually think of protein denaturization as irreversible, but it's actually reversible. The hard part is, is you have to separate the protein molecules enough so that they can refold spontaneously back together. And that's what I did in this experiment. The hard part afterwards is removing the chemical that you use to split up the protein molecules so they could fold back together. In my case, I used urea. There are some pretty cool methods you can use to separate out the urea so that you're just left with the egg protein. But in my case, the simplest method was just to dilute it. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And leave me any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comments section and I'll try to get to them. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time.